So I bet we all know that feeling where the weather forecast completely cheats us. Like, it did foresee a little bit of fog, maybe some hoar frost or something like that, but really nothing that was worth getting out of bed for. Then you will wake up, like, half an hour after sunrise, you look out and it's just completely foggy. And I'm looking at all the webcams on the roads in the entire area of the middle part of Jutland where I'm right now it's just foggy everywhere it's like god damn it <laughs> so I just hurried up and went out and luckily there is still some fog I am on my way to another location but I just came by this little road with some birch trees and it's actually really simple just straight on with the composition something like this here you can hardly see it F16, ISO 100, gives me a shutter speed of a quarter of a second. Even though it's so bright, I'm just overexposing because the scene is so flat. And then I'm probably going to dehaze it a little bit when I come back home. There are a few shots to pick out in this little area here. It's actually quite, quite picturesque. There's a little stream here on either side. And you can see the sun is up here and it kind of lightens up from behind this area in here with some trees that also look fairly decent. So yeah, beautiful morning. Here's the shot. One of the things I so enjoy about such a spontaneous morning like this is that obviously I kind of know uh, my local setting, so I know where I can go and I know where there's some potential for some photographs. But it's also so intuitive what you do. You just walk around, you see something, you shoot it, frame it up, more or less use your compositional tools to your benefit and and it becomes so simple and it just becomes uh, so much about being in flow and and enjoying the time you have with your camera solving all these small compositional puzzles that is one of the things i really enjoy about a morning like this because all the troubles of the world just disappear you are simply just in the moment in the situation Obviously now I'm talking with you guys, so that brings me a little bit out of that zen because I have to evaluate and think about things, think about what I'm saying. But nevertheless, it's, it's still, if I just like put all the video making away, it would just be like, ah, this is so nice. And you're just so focused on what it is you're doing. So yeah, right now I'm photographing in here. I'm just cutting out these three trees right here. Again, nothing special about the settings. F16, ISO 100. Right now it gives me a shutter speed of 1 16th of a second. I'm not entirely convinced about this photo because there's not really a whole lot in the background of the trees. So it becomes a very much a high key photo. And I'm not super big fan of high key photos. Uh, I wish there was some texture behind the trees. So you had a bigger sense of the depth. You had that small tree in the middle. It helps out a little bit, but uh, yeah. Here is the photo. So I'm actually just next to a lake, a kind of wetlandy-ish area. 
and there was like a little pier and I was just like whoa because it was just going straight into the lake and there was no obstructions around it and the fog just made sure that there was like no details whatsoever so it was only the pier in the photo but there were a couple of, of friends who wanted to go for a morning swim apparently in this frosty weather so I didn't really get to, to film anything. Uh, there's not a whole lot to say uh, as with any pier shot straight on and uh, and then just F16 to get the entire pier in focus. So uh, here's the photo. So the sun is breaking through really, really fast. That's not necessarily bad as long as I have a little bit of fog because as long as I'm shooting towards the sun, then I should have the fog effect. Um, right now, I am on this boardwalk here, following it in here in the composition and then around. I have played around with a few different compositions. This one here is one of them and then I've tried a couple of others, but I think I prefer this one. It has a pretty decent balance where you follow the boardwalk and then at the same time follow this stream into the background over here. I think it works pretty well. Maybe the boardwalk is a little bit too bright for the photo, but I can always, of course, pull that a little bit down in post-processing. But I think, I think this is pretty good. It is one of those mornings where there's just like compositions popping everywhere. So right now I'm photographing some of the same trees that I'm photographing before. I was photographing before, <coughs> but from a 90 degrees angle. And a, they, they look gorgeous because I can include this foreground tree right here. It has some very, well, characteristic uh, branches. And I'm just zooming all the way in. I'm almost a 200 millimeter, 150 millimeter or so. And the photo is just super simple, super gorgeous. It's all about trees in this wetland area. So much character, so much mood. Maybe a slight bit of dehaze. And then I think maybe a little bit of contrast. And I think that is, that is probably all it needs. Morning like this proves how important it is to have an intuitive feeling with composition. You have to hurry a little to get the photos before the fog lifts, yet you don't want composing the photos to stress you out. If you want to learn about composition and have a fast and simple entrance to understanding how I approach composition in the field, be sure to get my ebook on exactly that, Composition in Landscape Photography. It has minimal text and loads of photos as examples to get to the point fast. If the first ebook isn't enough, be sure to get the follow up where I share even more compositional tools. Both ebooks have loads of 5 star reviews, and if you are still in doubt, you can check out the two free light versions first. There are links for everything in the description of the video. 
So despite I'm actually getting some pretty good photos this morning, I do think this one here is my favorite. So I've had my eyes on this fallen over tree over here, a completely dead tree, for the past 15 or 20 minutes. And it's so characteristic and it's so beautiful. And I brought out the big gun, the 100 to 400. So I'm zooming all the way into it. I'm zooming a little bit out. I'm trying verticals, horizontals, trying everything I can. I have to focus stack the foreground when I introduce a little bit of foreground. Ah, the, the, the light is strong enough to break through the fog, but there's still fog, so I still get that effect. And it just looks so, so good so much character and mood and yeah this is everything i love from a foggy frosty spring morning in march like it doesn't get better than this right nigel <laughs> so uh, yeah absolutely absolutely gorgeous here's a photo or two So I've come back down to the pier just to try to reshoot it, but I'm not sure the second shot here is better. I have also focused a little bit on photographing some of the reeds right here. You can see the fog is lifting and the trees are coming out. I actually ought to shoot them now. Um, I have a little bit more texture going on. And there were some birds, as far as I can see on, on the Danish English word book. They are called grebe, so maybe horned grebe. And they look beautiful in the glimmering water. Super simple, super minimalist photo uh, with either one or, or two of them out over the lake. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm getting completely blinded here. Uh, I'm, my settings uh, show the ISO 100, F16, and I still have like one five hundredth of a second. So, yeah. Uh, you understand how blinded I'm getting right now, uh, standing on a lake looking out over it, just getting like double sun in my face. But yeah, I will stand here and photograph a little bit more. And uh, here are the final photos, I think. I think. One thing to take away from a morning like this is just like go on these foggy mornings because it is just it is just zen photography and it is so utterly beautiful in regard to gear just bring everything because you honestly do not know what you need i've been shooting with my wide angle today my standard zoom super zoom and even my 100 to 400 telephoto so oh, oh right now oh. <laughs> it looks so beautiful out over the lake i wish i had some birds in there yeah as you can see the fog is just like pfft, coming up and the silhouettes of the background trees are coming out it looks so so beautiful totally happiness and zen photography right here 
right now. And just as I was supposed to start filming, it's like so many birds just flying into the scene at once, but you're even captured a single one of them. It's like, ah, panic. Wow. So what's happening right now is that the sun is throwing its beams down through the fog, down through the forest. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. I'm talking way too much to you guys. I'm just focusing on photographing right now waiting for some birds to come into the scene uh, they make for great anchor points and then i'm incorporating the rest of the lake and the sun and the atmosphere and the trees and the beams and yes <laughs> oh getting something original this morning i i dared not hope for it but oh, this is so so good. <laughs> If you want to learn how I edit my photos, my Photoshop for landscape photographers course cover everything from actually getting used to Photoshop over masking, luminosity masking, handling of atmosphere, which is important for photos like those in this video, blending photos, mistakes to avoid, how my editing philosophy about respecting the light blends into all of it and much 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 more. There is a coupon code in the description of this video which you can use to save a bit of money. Be sure to check out this, the ebooks on composition and subscribe to my newsletter for all sorts of announcements. As always I'd highly appreciate both a like and a comment. I hope you enjoyed the video and see you in the next one.